Hey guys, prepared wander out on a hike today, and I wanted to show you a couple really cool pouches for organizing your stuff. Uh, if you're like me, you're probably like just a, a junkie for this kind of gear. I love having ways of organizing all those little things that you got to take with you in the woods on hikes or organizing your, your bug out bag or whatever. Uh, but a good design pouch really helps uh, organize and sort all that stuff instead of just jump, dumping it into the, back, the bottom of your backpack and hoping for the best. So it is, uh, fall is almost here in Ohio and it's, uh, the woods are busy. There are guys out hunting and of course there's a train in the background as always. And, uh, but I wanted to show you a couple really cool pouches for the money that I love and, uh, Hopefully, you'll love them too. So, stay tuned. All right, the first thing I want to show you guys is this One Tigress e e pouch. What I love about this thing is it is really um, a small, compact pouch that will easily fit in your BDU pocket, but also with the Molly attachments on the back, you can put this on you know, the back of your backpack or if you're wearing some kind of web gear or a chest rig or something, this will fit on there too. And really what it is, it's, a, it's kind of a mini admin pouch um, but what I have mine set up for is, is specifically for land nav and just grab to go items that I need to get access to quickly. You could certainly make this into a really nice, uh, fire pouch, fire kit pouch or a survival pouch. Just, it's kind of whatever your needs is. So the first thing you're going to notice is all this Velcro on the front. So you can put your, uh, your cool guy patches on the front there. Um, it is lined with this really nice nylon webbing and that's sewn in perfectly. Like other One Tiger things that I reviewed before, the materials on this and the craftsmanship is top notch for an overseas manufacturer. So keep that in mind while we're looking through this thing. You open it up and right away you see that there's a lot of organization in this thing. First thing is there's a removable clear map pouch. And this Velcro's right out. So if you've got note cards, uh, maps, uh, IED, things that you want to keep uh, accessible and viewable, you can certainly put them in this. I haven't tested this yet though, but I have a feeling you probably can write on this with like an alcohol marker or a grease pen. So I need to do a test on that and let you guys know about that. But um, certainly it would work for a folded up map. Once you take that out, there are all the loops. And what I love about this thing is it's got this um, paracord that goes all the way around. And there's actually um, a cord lock right here. So you can adjust this. So if you were to actually wear this, let's say on a Molly chest rig, and you don't want this thing to flop open all the way, you just pull this cord and now it's going to only open part way. So now you have access, you know, this kind of opens up like a little tray. And you got access to all your pieces of gear that you need to get to. Um, so I keep this one opened up pretty much because I want to open it up flat like that and lay that out on the ground. And what I've got in mind, in this back slip pocket, I've got some right in the rain notebook. I've got a couple pens and a mini um, screwdriver set. And then on these, I have my Bic lighter, some flagging tape for marking trails, a whistle, uh, Burt's Bees, and then a little, uh, little task light. And in the back here, there's another slip pocket, which I've got my silver compass. And I've got uh, a grid reader and a little uh, SE Knives card. So, not a ton of stuff in this thing, but these are the kind of little admin items that I'm always looking for. And not every backpack I have has great organization that I can organize all this stuff. So what this allows me to do is I can keep all these things in one pouch and just throw that in the backpack that I'm, I'm grabbing for the day. And I really like that. I think that's pretty awesome. And I definitely plan on using this pouch a lot more 
in the field and uh, on my trips because that's the one thing I always struggle with is like where do I keep all this stuff and I keep moving it from bag to bag to bag and it, you know you end up forgetting things losing things and it's it it's it turns to be kind of a mess so I like this idea of just keeping all these little admin items in one pouch and then not attaching it to anything just keeping it loose in my bag now the the bottom of this also has an elastic keeper which would be really nice for like I hear of a chem light but you could also do a tourniquet um, maybe a spare mag maybe a larger flashlight depends on what you carry now if there's any doubt that this is a, a cheap product let me show you something this is genuine Cordura fabric and I believe this is 500D. So, you know, like the um, video I did on budget range gear that was all One Tiger stuff, the quality is really amazing. The elastic on this pouch is heavy duty. It's not cheap. It's not the thin stuff that wears out and then loses its elasticity, you know, after a few uses. This stuff is Sewing is perfect. Uh, materials are quality so you're really getting a nice nice product and uh, the price on these is not that bad and I'm going to actually have a link down below um, to Amazon that's going to have these available this one's in multicam now it's covered in a lot of molly so multicam doesn't show up too much but I think they have them also in like a coyote tan and maybe a black as well so you'll have to check the links out below and see what you think about that but so that's the first pouch I wanted to show you Second pouch I have here is another product from One Tigress, and this is their first aid pouch. Um, and what's nice about this is this is a rip away medic type pouch. Now, Molly on the back, and this actually has the uh, the straps, so you don't have to have any extra you don't have to buy extra connectors to strap that to your pack. So what you do is you um, undo this buckle, and that releases the pouch. <clears throat> and now you've got a tear away. So if you wanted to, you could also um, not use the molly panel. And if you have a backpack that has that Velcro field in the back, you could actually mount this inside the pack. So there's a couple options for you with this. Now what's really nice about this pouch is the organization on this thing. A lot of times I find that these um, IFAC and, and first aid pouches are just overly organized, way too many loops way too many ways of storing stuff and the problem is if you're really doing a true uh, blowout kit, kit something that is designed for um, big wounds like gunshots or axe injuries knife injuries you don't need a lot of organization because usually the stuff that you need to treat those types of wounds are large and let me show you what I mean so a couple big pieces of elastic which is perfect for this compressed dressing um, two more large pieces of elastic so I can actually fit um, my quick clot in there and I've got some uh, mini EMT shears behind that of course there's a package of gloves in there and then if you remove this stuff behind that is this mesh pocket and in here I've got a couple biohazard bags and a few other dressings so real simple there's not a lot of pockets not a lot of elastic and it really allows you to carry some of these bigger bulkier dressings that I never seem to be able to find a place for in these smaller kits um, this this first aid kit for me is really designed for one thing and it's to um, you know treat a wound that is major I've cut myself with an axe or someone has shot themselves at the range, something, an emergency like that, something that where there's a lot of bleeding and I'm kind of control bleeding quickly. So I've got some things I can pull out quickly, get to them and treat that. Uh, of course, I just keep my medical tape in here loose. Doesn't really need to be secured in any way. And then on the outside of the pouch, there is a slip pocket that has Velcro. And this is where I just keep the small things. This is the boo-boo type stuff. So we've got, 
uh, band-aids and you know antiseptic wipes and things like that stuff that I'm not gonna need a lot of but they're nice to have just in case so those stay right there so I can get to those quickly and then uh, this uh, elastic on the outside I've got a tourniquet so it covers all the bases and it's in a very small lightweight uh, pouch that I can either you know mount Molly or I can mount on velcro or just have it loose in my pack however I choose to do it and once again just like the you know the E&E &E pouch this thing is 500 cord 500 D Cordura um, it, it's stitched nicely good quality it's just a nice product so and it's not a ton of money which I love so you just put this back on here like that And then you can tighten that up if you want to cinch that load down and you get a nice grab handle so a really nice little first aid kit and this is something I could throw in my pack and then when I get to camp I could hang this outside of my pack for other people to access I think what I'm going to do is on mine I'm going to customize this and probably change out these uh, zipper cords and put red on them so at least it, it looks like a first aid kit right away you know people can recognize that easily um, but yeah it's you know it's a fantastic product and it's not a lot of money and it's very well made and it's just simple in its design it's perfect for at least for my needs so hopefully you found all right guys I uh, hope you found this stuff useful uh, two great products please check them out on the Amazon links below uh, one tigress IFAC pouch and one tigress uh, E, e pouch um, I don't think you can go wrong with these things if you're looking for some alternatives to the bigger expensive brands like VanQuest and Expedition which are great products by the way I don't have anything against them they just get they can get very expensive quick and if you're on a budget these are great organizers for your bag uh, that'll help you get outside and do a little bit more so all right guys thanks for watching as always please like subscribe and share and we'll see you next time on the prepared wanderer